Larimar is found in a one and only place in the world, in tropical, hard-to-reach mountains rising above the beautiful Caribbean Sea in a remote part of the Dominican Republic. Legends of the Tainos, the indigenous people, say they had already known Larimar and honored it as a sacred stone. After colonization by the Spanish, the first mention of the blue stone appeared in 1916 by a local priest, but no attention was paid to it until early 70s, when its true origin was identified. So how was Larimar rediscovered? Pieces of the blue stone, washed up by the waves on Bauruka Beach, were long visible for the local villagers, who later began to collect them and offer as the souvenirs from the sea. In 1974, a Dominican craftsman, Miguel Mendez, amazed by the blue stone, decided to examine its structure, together with his American friend, a member of Peace Corps and geologist, Norman Ryling. Ryling assessed that the blue stones found at Bauruka Beach are of volcanic origin and do not come from the sea, as the local people thought. Therefore, they decided to explore the Bauruko River, which could bring the blue stones into the sea from the nearby mountains. As going upstream, pieces of the blue rock appeared on the riverbank. The men followed up the river to its spring, high in the tropical hills, where in a close distance they discovered outcrops of the blue rock. This place is by now the only deposit of Larimar in the world. Despite the fact that Larimar comes from the rainforest mountains, it amazingly embodies the beautiful colors of the Caribbean Sea. Mendez therefore decided to name this stone as Mar, the sea in Spanish, and combined it with his daughter's name, Larisa. Larimar got its official name and quickly gained popularity as beautiful and precious Caribbean gemstone. Since 2018, Larimar represents the national stone of the Dominican Republic. And how was Larimar created? Around 100 million years ago, the Caribbean islands were formed mostly by volcanic activity. Throughout the cooling process of lava, various cavities were formed within and later filled with liquid minerals, including silica, sodium, and calcium. Over time, the minerals crystallized and created unique blue pectolite, today's Larimar. The substitution of copper for calcium and scattering of light on the crystalline structure of Larimar can be responsible for its exceptional blue coloring. The tropical mountain range, Sierra de Bauruco, is the unique place where the forces of earth and fire combine to create this beautiful gemstone, blue as the Caribbean Sea. Larimar was initially mined slightly below the surface, but nowadays miners have to descend into the depths of around 100 meters. Mining in tropical mountainous terrain is very complicated. Due to heavy rains and hurricanes, the shafts are often flooded and Larimar cannot be mined for several months. Sometimes it could take years before miners come across a blue vein of Larimar, but once found, the joy and reward pays all of their time and effort. The shafts are dug mostly with simple tools, reinforced with wooden beams. No dynamites may be used, as it would disturb the fragile structure of Larimar. However, some of the excavated stones may still be cracked. Mine gems are usually palm-sized and vary in their quality. Precious type of Larimar is so-called bolas and tubos, which are found rarely at the greatest depth. They are oval compact pieces encased in a dark rock and can offer the most beautiful surprise when cut. At the same time, it's a disappointment if the stone is only white, grayish or cracked. Only 10% of all mined Vladimir stone are of jewelry quality, and only around 1% are of the highest quality with the most intense blue. What are the colors of Larimar? Almost magically, Larimar displays all the beautiful colors of the Caribbean sea and sky. The shades of blue, from azure to deep volcano blue, can appear in combination with white, gray, green, turquoise, or purple. These colors usually blend with each other and create a magnificent painting, unique to each stone. One of the most beautiful paintings of Larimar is the white lines weaving through the blue, resembling sunlight dancing beneath the Caribbean waters, and also white patterns that resemble the foam of waves or clouds in a summer sky. Sometimes, Larimar can surprise in combination with red, thanks to the traces of hematite, evoking red seaweed on the ocean's surface. The gemstone is mostly opaque, 
but rarer pieces are translucent. When exposed into the sun's rays, a wonderful play of light and colors creates a feeling of diving into the sea. The coloring, pattern, and translucency of Larimar can be recognized once the stone is cut. Only with water does its color reach full saturation. However, it can also be achieved by proper polishing of the stone. The hardness of Larimar ranges from 4 to 7 on the Mar scale. Usually, the deeper the blue color, the harder the stone. Such pieces are the rarest and most precious, therefore their value rises accordingly. The magnificent sea appearance and unique energetic properties of Larimar have made this gem famous also as the Dolphin Stone and the Stone of Atlantis.